Hi V2 Bits Bits Gutty Rude, it's me, I'm back, I'm back, I'm Gutty Rude, back again, I'm in a mood, I'm here, it's your old Gert, yes it is, not Bert, it's Gert. Well, here I am to talk about Dan Wu-Tan, because apparently, now don't quote me on it, but apparently he's only been found in suspenders. He has, he has, everybody's shockulated. They are, they can't get over it. <gasps> Fancy Dan wouldn't be suspended or something or other. So anyway, yes, he tittered. Yes, yeah, so you know you're not allowed to titter or giggle or smirk. No, you mustn't do any of those things. But you can say what you want. Do you know what I mean? It's free speech. You'd be a right nasty bitch, can't you? Because Lawrence, it's Lawrence Fox that did it, really. Poor old Dan. He didn't know whether he was coming or going, did he? He did, and bless him. So let's have a look. Let's see what poor old Kev's got to say. Everybody's got lots of things to say. And according to Gert, they're all poor. Yes. <laughs> oh, dear. The vacuous, the vacuous. You may have been following this story uh, about right? rivals. Oh, we're, we're a gog. Uh, we're a gog. We are. We're a gog. We don't, don't children stabbing each other. No, 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 we're not worried about that. No, no, we all want to know about Dan Wu-Tan when he smirks. Yes, it's very important, you know. I'll have you know. Well, you don't know, but you do know now because I've just told you. Don't you, Kevin? Uh, let's go, let's actor, go, come on. One and all, roll up. Uh, Lawrence Fox. Right. Uh, said uh, about He's a uh, snipe. friend and colleague, Ava Santino. Yes. Evans. Uh, that no one would want to have sex with her. Oh. He used those terms. It was a disgraceful thing to happen on television. But it's just a buggy, stupid thing for the Lawrence Fox to say. It's his ego. He's massaging his, uh, his ego, which is probably the biggest thing about Lawrence, isn't it? Let's have it right. To be fair, you know his ego appears before he does. He's one of them, isn't he, Futube? Yes, and no doubt a big letdown to the present Mrs Fox. Yes, indeed, because their ego's always bigger than, you know. Is that another appendage? That's all I'm saying, Futube first. I am. Lawrence Fox is a bleeding fraggle, and that's all there is to it. Dan, well, they had the knives out for poor old Dan, and he tittered. And titter ye not, as Frankie Howard would have said when he was alive. Um... Thou art not tittering upon the voo tube, apparently. It was awkward. I mean, I laughed at a funeral once. I don't know why I laughed. I just felt you, it wasn't funny. I just Some people react like that when they feel awkward or nervous or, I don't know, uh, stress, maybe. And he wasn't quite sure what to do, so he tittered. I rather do blame Fox for saying it more than, uh, yes... Poor old Dan for tittering. <laughs> what sort of a crazy world to be living? It's clown world, voodoo viewers. Basically, Twitter RT run this country and every other country on earth. Let's have it right. Let's have it right. Because what people think on Twitter, which is where all the middle class knobs and mugs all hang out to out virtue signal each other, to be outraged and all out, out, outraged. I'm more outraged than you could possibly ever be. No, you're not, because I'm far, far more outraged than you'll ever be. And you know the heads of all those mob. Yes, the poster children of the Twitter arty crew. Well, it's a Monty so duo, isn't it? I still think they're a part of a bleeding job. I can't actually believe that those two bleeding menaces over there are really real people. Well, I mean, I know they're real people, but they're really, you know, I think they're a part of job. I can't help myself. And this is another diversionary load of old nonsense, isn't it? Listen, Sadiqi Khan, what about all the kids carrying bleeding zombie knives? That's what we should be talking about. Oh, yes, we should. Food tube. That's what I think. And that's all I've got to say. Actually, I haven't. I've got a bit more the to say. Host, Come on. Wood. Uh, Let's speak it. Did not deal. Speak it uh, out. Just clear infringement of rules yes. and rules uh, very well in, at all. He's issued a grovelling apology, uh, but to Lawrence Fox, as we know earlier, I do love a grovelling apology. Suspended uh, by GB News, and now GB News has suspended the host uh -huh. Dan Wood. Wood Tam. Those comments. Told you he was in suspenders, didn't I? Vote I told you. Fox, you can be a call if you like. If you want to talk about. I am the oracle of all good news, you know, bad news or indifferent news. I am. I seem to be a lorical lor oracle, or whatever that is. I'm one. Uh, the main thing is, had he said that about my daughter, I would now be camped out outside Mr. Lawrence's abodage, wherever that is, because. Actually, he is one of the celebrities that go as above to stalk. No, don't go for tall, lanky, blonde head. Yes, streaks or whatnot. Yes. <laughs> He's like a bleeding broom handle, isn't he? And it's about as funny as one as well, really. The thing is, 
men have talked about women like that for a long, long time. I know women can talk about men like it as well. You know, but... <sighs> must have been crushing for that poor Ava to have somebody say that about her. I, I know you're going to be astounded, you too. And I know you're all going to have to sit down. You're going to all be shocked. But I must say, she's joined Gertie's club. Because people have said that. Well, mainly men. In fact, it was 100% men. Has said that about me for all oh, decades. They have. They have. They have. And I can't think why either. So, you know. <laughs> if you, I would have thought I was hot totty, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, it was a wicked thing to say about her. She's a pretty young girl. It's just ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. And, I mean, the thing about Lawrence Fox is he's always been holding forth about our freedom of speech and democracy and truth and all this old BS. Yeah? Well, he doesn't like her opinions. So, isn't that freedom of speech to hold those opinions? He thinks she's a toxic feminist. Yeah? But he's just showed himself to be a raging misogynist, you see, through two of us. And it's unfortunate that men talk about women like that. I've had men that I really love to talk about. I've had... Like, going back when I was young, you know, and you think you've had a really nice time and then it comes back to you, they've said this, that and the other about you. So you don't call them anymore, you don't talk to them anymore. And they're the ones chapping on your door trying to get, get back out with you, you know? Do you know what I mean? On a sensible note, I'm saying that. In my day, you know, we didn't have mobiles. They'd be ringing or they'd be st basically stalking me. But they didn't realise. A load of women out there, if you sit and think, we probably all had it. Men, when they get together, they're like stupid little schoolboys. My one's bigger than your one. Ne, 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 ne. And poor old dad, he don't even walk that side of the road. So I do feel sorry for dad. But there you go. Titty ye not. <laughs> I think that's what we should take away from this sobering event. Never titter on talk TV or whatever it was. GB Spoons. There you go. I've said it. So I love you and leave you, each of you, individually. And hopefully see you tomorrow at my live at five with Gertie goes live at five on Friday five live, whatever, something or other. See you later. Bye now.